It was built with trimmings from the clay of creation, and fired with embers that lit the first sun. Erected by the Lords of Dawn, begetters of the Elder Gods, as a place of divine fellowship and holy knowledge. For billions of years, its halls teemed with gods from every corner of reality, and the heavens were a place brimming with life and wonder and infinite promise. But now, the universe is a trembling invalid, collapsing in upon itself and wheezing its last. Its celestial marrow decayed, its stars turned to blackened sores, its galactic arteries still and bloodless. And there is only one god left in all of Omnipotent City to bear witness to the feeble, pulsed end of all that ever was. But today, he has visitors. This place smells of death, sisters. And not the fun kind. There's a fun kind of death smell? Aye, like when warm gushing troll blood melts freshly fallen snow, but this... This is the slow, rotting kind of death. Gods, I hope I die before I get old. We shouldn't be here. I'm starting to think Atley might be right about that last part. I know you hoped this ancient nexus of the gods might hold some answers, Ellie. But there's nothing left here. That can't be true, Frick. The wisdom of all the ages was kept in this place. This was the greatest library in the history of divine knowledge. This was the halls of all-knowing. Yeah, well, now it's a bunch of rotten books that smell like a leper's been using them for a toilet. Let's go. Ellie, I'm sorry, but we need to get back to Asgard. We should be preparing for the fight we know is coming. So much has been lost all across the cosmos. How is life supposed to endure when even the gods cannot persevere? I can answer that. It's not... It's all supposed to die, every last little speck of life. But then, so was I, a long, long time ago. And here I am. I am still alive, aren't I? You'd tell me if I wasn't, because I, I would want to know that. Terrific, we found a madman. Are you the Lord High Librarian? He kept the books alive for as long as he could. And once he couldn't feed himself anymore, I did it for him. For just a few million years. He was my friend, whether he liked it or not. My name is Shadrach, god of... of... I'm afraid I can't remember what I was once the god of anymore. Of things forgotten, I suppose. Did you know? There used to be ten entire realms. But now... They're all merely ash, just like the gods. Time did what Gore the God Butcher couldn't. Gods, that's why we're here. They can't all be gone. Can you tell us how to find any who are left? Any who could stand with us against what we know is coming? Yes, I know why you've come all the way from Asgard, young ladies of thunder. The Annihila Blade. The God Slayer. It passed from Null, to Gore, to Thor, to Galactus, to Ego. And now, by the diamond moons of Ogogo, now, all black the Necro Sword has gone to. No! Ah, Necro Ravens! This is his work! Come out and face us, Uncle! You beardless coward! Shardrock. I know the power he wields. I've read the ancient stories of Null. I saw what Kor did with my own eyes. We have to find a way to help our grandfather or... No, you don't know the story, young goddess of thunder. Not the whole story. Because... Because it hasn't finished writing itself yet. And gods help us. This next chapter... Belongs to Loki. Brothers, mortal enemies since time immemorial. They have fought more battles than can be counted, but never like this. Never with such power between them. 
What happens when the unstoppable All Butcher meets the immovable Thunder King? Blood is what happens. Blood and the burning of Asgard. For starters. <laughs> you regret not killing me when last you had the chance, don't you, Thor? What have you done, you monster? Asgard! Oh! You thought you could chain me up in a pit of Muspelheim fire vipers for all eternity, eh? But I ate my way through them, brother. Until my insides burned and my tears turned to venom. I ate my way to you, almighty oh king. Along the way, I even devoured an entire world. A necro world. So now... <laughs> Now, I am Loki the Necro-God! Loki, the end of Asgard! The end of everything! Starting with you, Brother Thor! <laughs> The Allfather knows the truth in Loki's words. He knows that no matter the outcome of this thunderous confrontation, the entire universe is doomed. Thor has walked the dead and dying worlds that litter the cosmos. He knows each and every one of the few where some semblance of life still desperately clings. And he knows this world is not one of them. So he feels no qualms about what he must do next. Hi, Mjolnir! Fly to the nearest star that still burns! Your hammer will find you no aid, brother. For none remains in this barren existence. Asgard has fallen! The gods are no more. Oh. And your blessed granddaughters are dying beneath my weapon even as we... The Thor Force will not be enough. Just as it wasn't enough against Gore. The Allfather knows this. It took three Thors to defeat that Butcher. And Gore was just a mortal before he became infected with dark power. Well, Loki... Loki was spawned by giants and raised by gods. He has been infected with darkness since the day he was born. You threw your hammer past a star so that it would burn? <laughs> You think their fire will stop me? No. The universe is dying, and this planet is a sign of its disease. A gangrenous world that oozes jellied acid like pus. But I think this will hurt. A planet of napalm. Loki has been trying to murder his brothers since they were children. Someday, he might even succeed. Thor has known this for many years. Yet never before has he felt so strongly compelled to respond in kind. Always holding out hope that his wayward brother could someday, somehow, be saved. But for the universe to survive, for mankind to outlive its gods, King Thor now accepts the dark truth. That Loki must die. Sisters, it's happening. Do you feel it? All I feel, Ellie, is my eyes getting clawed out by these four damned birds! I feel it. Asgard is burning. We have to get home now. You're too late. Asgard was already gone before you left, and now you'll never be again. It's been written in the book to end all books. Like hell it has! Frigg, Shardrock's right, and you know it. He's a madman, Ellie. She's not wrong. This isn't about Asgard, or us, or even Grandfather Thor. It's about everything that has ever existed. There must be a way to stop Loki and save what's left of the universe. We have to keep searching. We're about to be searching for a way out of this bear's monstrous gullet unless we move, sisters! 
I have a shard of the Bifrost. I can take us anywhere in the universe. Shardrock, where do we go? I'm not going anywhere. A librarian never abandons his books until it's time to pass them on. Take it, Elise Vodendotter, and finish this story. How? I don't even know where to begin. Yes, you do. You've read enough books to know that when you're searching for an ending, you begin at the beginning. That's what I'm going to do. See? I just remembered what I'm the god of. My name is Shadrach, god of bombs. And I wish you well, goddesses of thunder. Goodbye now. Omnipotent City was built with trimmings from the clay of creation. And fired with embers that lit the first sun. To dust and fire, it now returns. From galaxies away, King Thor feels it, deep in his god guts. <clears throat> Omnipotent city. No. <laughs> yes. No more Asgard. No more gods. No more of the lie that is eternal life. The final act has begun, and Thor knows. There will be no return from this. <laughs> Loki is the bringer of truth now! And the final fundamental truth of all existence, brother dear, is that nothing lasts forever. Not family, not love, not peace, not hope, nothing. Except for Loki. As Thor's innards are sent spilling across the starways, the greatest agony comes not from his grievous wound, but from the withering veracity of Loki's words. All those eons of struggle, and in the end there's nothing left but the vilest hatred and pettiest sibling jealousy and the bloody ruin it brings with it. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how father died? <laughs> you thought he died peacefully in his sleep. But it was me. Sneaking into his room every night for weeks, whispering in his withered old ear about every wickedness I'd ever done. Every vicious little horror. Even the ones I never told anyone. The most intimate details of every single drop of blood I'd ever spilt. Every mind I'd violated. And it was all his fault, I told him. For not strangling me in my crib when he found me. I am Odin's ultimate legacy. Those words were what killed our father. He died weeping, choking on shame. And my grinning face was the last thing he saw. Just as it will be for you, Thor. <laughs> no. You're a liar. You didn't kill father. I did. He was a shell of himself, his mind gone. I put him out of his misery and burned him on a pyre the size of Jotunheim. Because it was Jotunheim. And now you will burn too, uh, you Jotun spawn bastard! Uh, no, you can't! Did I ever tell you our mother died? No! She died of a broken heart, cursing your wretched name! You were Freya's greatest regret, Loki! With her dying breath, our mother lamented ever believing in you! Ever loving you! Gods help me! So do I. Now I'm the new Lord of Lies, thinks the old father of Asgard, as he watches his brother be consumed by the sun. Because he may tell himself his heart is hardened to Loki's screams, but Thor's tears say different. But is it the loss of his brother that has the King of Thunder weeping? Or is it the unshakable fear that this time, one son, 
won't be enough. Gods. No! <laughs> Hello, Hallfather. I just murdered your son. Take a guess as to what's next. Your newly reborn Midgard. So generous of you to rekindle life here. So that I could have the joy of annihilating it all over again. Just as soon as I've finished with you, brother. Thor has lived for more years, more millennia, more eons, than any god ever born. After all that, he could have never imagined that it wouldn't be enough. Not enough time, enough life, enough thunder. Not enough to save the world. Any worlds. This can't be how it ends. If there are any gods left to hear prayers, avenge this universe! There will be nothing to avenge, brother. I will live so long in emptiness, I'll forget you ever... Turns out there is a god who hears Thor's prayer. Uh, no! It can't be! The last god anyone expected. Two omnipotent brothers squabbling with each other, while all of existence withers around them. This is exactly why... I've always despised your kind. Gore. The god of god butchers. This is why all gods must 